in A. Huh? You should lead. Brophy up in Durango, Colorado, and it's kind of a special mandolin to me. Um, it was played at my son's funeral, and um, I happened to get a chance to get it. And so here it is in my hands, and I'm checking it out and um, seeing what I think of it, and see if I'm going to keep it. And um, I probably will. It's a fun mandolin. Um, it's got a varnish finish on it. It's number 27, made in 810, so August uh, 2010. It has a unfinished uh, sort of a speed finish on the neck. Uh, there's the back of it. Waverly tuners. Now that's a rare thing to see. Um, those are expensive tuners. They work really good. With most tuners, most mandolin tuners, you know, you're tuning them, and they get stiffer and stiffer and stiffer. And these Waverlys don't. They're just like the same tension the whole time. Really nice little tailpiece here, little clamshell tailpiece, uh, like that. Really. Nice design, student. Good running equipment. Um, the workmanship is, is spectacular. I mean, I, I don't find anything. There's there's not a flaw on this thing. Um, for a handmade mandolin, it's excellent. And so, and this is a couple of years old. It's got a few dings and a few scratches on it. If I was going to change one thing about it, and I probably will change this if I keep it, um, it's the frets. And uh, they're wide frets. They're 80 thousandths of an inch wide. And I just personally don't like those. I like 50 thousandths of an inch. So I probably am going to refret it if I end up keeping it. And I would use the gold Evo wire that I used on the uh, Gilchrist that I refretted a while ago. So playing this mandolin, it reminds me very much of the Gilchrist. It's got, a, it's got that kind of a deep, woofy sound to it. And yet the trebles are, are really nice. The trebles are sharp. They're cutting. Um, they're not dull. It's got a great chop. It's got a little bit of a chunkier neck than my Chris Shot mandolin, and that's fine. It's a soft V-neck, uh, really comfortable. That's one of the first things I noticed about this mandolin when I played it. Uh, the neck's just great. A very even taper up and down here. 
some mandolins I've seen um, come down in a taper like this and then they get fat as they come up here. And I don't like that. That throws my hand off. I like an even taper up and down the neck, um, which this one has. And so there it is. It's Elkhorn number 27. I have to keep looking. I can't remember if it's 26 or 27. I have to look. It's 27. <laughs>